Did anybody think the Zapateras lost their mojo and were arguing amongst themselves? I didn't get that from the last show. Now, if I got anything from that, I got that the omelets got a little boost. Not that the Zapatera started arguing because of that. So now Stephanie wakes up. So why didn't she try waking up when she had a friend there and team up with a friend to try to find someone to get with instead of sticking with Russell when Russell was long gone? Steph just ain't too smart. Why would you put your nose that close to somebody's armpit out there where they haven't bathed forever? That was just gross. I wouldn't care if they were bathing. I wouldn't want my nose that close to the armpit. So now, after siding with Rusta, Russell, Krista is some big Christian? Was Krista acting Christian-like when she was griping about everybody? Stirring things up. I mean, Matt has acted like a good Christian the whole time, as far as I know. I guess Krista is a Christian of convenience. Matt's still a gladiator. I was worried Matt was going to throw that because she was playing up like a Christian. Then didn't one of them start playing up like, oh, they're just so alone there because they're Christians. And only 75% of the world population are Christians, and that just leaves you so damn alone, doesn't it? And I'm glad Matt won. Andrea is jealous because Matt bonded with another Christian. So I guess being a couple is going to come back and bite Matt on the ass in this one. Or at least that's how they're editing it out to be. I can't believe she'd think like that. What, he spent one night with her. and Oh my god, he bonded with her. I'm going to turn on him. I hope Matt runs this Redemption Island thing and makes them pay for it. The more it goes on, the more I want Matt to win it all. That would be great if he came back from Redemption Island, screwed over his tribe for screwing him, and then took over the other ones. How would Sarita go out there with a cavity? I'd think you'd go to the dentist before going out there so you wouldn't have a tooth problem. That has got to be the strangest psychosomatic panic attack I've ever heard of. She's worried about her teeth, so she thinks she's got a cavity because she hasn't brushed in, what, three weeks now? Something like that. Like cavities just happen that fast. We've been sitting around all our lives here. And he bothers to tell us to gather wood. It didn't ask us nicely. <laughs> okay, I can see that you're young and lazy and stupid and snobbish and you think the world owes you everything. But when somebody points it out to you, and you act like that, I'd be wanting to kill her in her sleep. Yes, Ashley, you're right. Philip is mental, and someone needs to diagnose him. And so are you. And she's proud of being called a beauty queen in a derogatory manner. I think Natalie ought to wake up to the fact that she's hooked into a lazy ass bitch that nobody's gonna like and she better change alliances because that ain't gonna work 
unless you can get the lazy ass bitch that nobody likes through to the end and then nobody will give her any money but nobody would give Natalie any money either so whoever was up there with them would be the winner Rob had to play Arafat in the peace process wasn't Arafat one of the opposing sides on a peace process Maybe he had to play Jimmy Carter on a peace process. Now come on Rob. I know you're from a city. You don't know a difference between a chicken and a turkey even though you should have learned that in grade school. But Yasser Arafat is not ancient history. Nope. Not water. Close to the water. For a repeat, it's one of the good ones. Maybe somebody will blow out their knee. I thought they were going to actually have a water challenge. Why even bother moving that thing to the water? I guess maybe so they had a big beach to run on. They should have had him swimming. Zapatera sucks at this game. Now why did Zapatera go deep on every one of those? They don't have to take turns shooting, did they? I would have been shooting at the same time and just matched score for score. Sarita or Stephanie? I think I'd stick with the plan and get rid of Stephanie. Even though Sarita is being a bitch and a whiner. Even if you disregard them not knowing about Stephanie's deal with Rob, you have to go with trust. You can't risk having Stephanie there when nobody can trust her and she's been rustling the whole way. Why are they still getting clues to the reward or the idol when Rob's already found it? Shouldn't they stop getting clues like everybody else does? Maybe they don't show that part, but it seems to me the other tribe's not getting clues. Or maybe because everybody knows it that they stop giving clues. But something doesn't seem right there. Even if it would help Rob if they'd quit giving clues. Because I doubt if his tribe would figure it out. Sarita's not going to campaign. We've heard that one before. That's just stupid. You think people are going to vote for you? You better campaign. I don't remember what the vote was, but they wouldn't have had to swing that many people, and with her not campaigning, it could have been like Brenda. Can't argue with voting out Stephanie, especially since we know she tried to make a deal with Rob. Stephanie, but I don't think I would have been too thrilled about keeping Sarita either. Strange how Sarita started out pretty good and gone downhill so fast. I guess maybe not trying takes a while to notice or build up. Stephanie going into Redemption Island. Bashing her tribe. Oh, what good does that do her? And it's to Matt, so only one of them can go to the game. It does her no good. <clears throat> that's what Matt thinks he needs to do. That's what Matt needs to do. He got screwed over by his tribe a lot worse than she did. There's just too much of that going on this year. People giving out information and when it serves them no good. And you got Ralph showing the idol or saying he had the idol. And then the rest of it's all Stephanie, or most of it's all been Stephanie. But if it doesn't do you any good, keep your mouth shut. Uh, new from L'Oreal Paris. The weekend is coming! 
show.